If you've ever driven between Tucson and Phoenix, you will have seen Picacho Peak. Not only is Picacho Peak a great place to take a hike, it's also a state park, but just outside of the park is the world famous Rooster Cogburn's Ostrich Farm. This place is so famous, even Larry the Cable Guy stopped by while touring America. This is a world-class roadside attraction, of course. To get the full experience at this place takes about 45 minutes, but that is an action-packed 45 minutes. Once inside, you'll get to feed a wide variety of animals. For your admittance fee, you get two cups with food for all of the animals on the farm, except for the stingrays. That's a little extra, but it's still well worth the fun. Let's take a look and see what types of animals you can expect. First, you hit up the donkeys, which is so much fun. These feisty animal friends have quite the personalities, and they have found some behavioral hacks to entice the humans to give them more food. Some of the donkeys have learned to rise above the fence and open wide for quite the smile, for the chance that you will notice them and give them a snack. The follow deer are so gentle and friendly. You get an appreciation for how sweet these deer are when you get to hand feed them. We especially love their beautiful spots that they keep for their entire lives. These docile animals are hailed from Europe and Asia. The parakeet feeding station is really cool as you insert bird seed into the cage at the end of the stick so you can watch the birds devour the feed. These birds are so beautiful and chatty, almost piranha-like in their demeanor. They're beautifully colored yellow and blue, for camouflage reasons, of course. Everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent here in Tucson, Arizona, and today we are talking about the Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch just outside of Tucson. We have a lot of attractions and interesting things to see all around Southern Arizona, especially only an hour or two from the city, and this one is pretty well known by Tucsonans, Phoenicians, and anyone traveling past Picacho Peak. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to follow along with Tucson News and learn more about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown, and when you're ready to buy or sell Tucson home, you know how to find me. All my contact information is in the description below each video on the channel. And please check out other videos on the channel after this one. We have hundreds of videos about Tucson and real estate on this channel. One of the strangest and most awkward attractions here is the goat kissing booth, where if you really wanted to, you can hold a piece of animal food in your mouth and the goat will come and take it from you, basically giving you a goat kiss. We didn't have anyone brave enough in the family to do that though, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. After you do or don't kiss a goat, you can send a treat up to the goat penthouse where you crank the food up to the goats in the penthouse using a belt. Very odd, but people seem to enjoy this activity. The goats seem right at home up in the sky. Naturally, main attractions at the ostrich farm are the ostriches. These guys are very fascinating and to be honest, a bit intimidating because they're just as tall if not taller than most people and can be quite aggressive when you feed them. These birds are big and strong and can reach over the fence, so just be careful. Just do your best to toss the feed in the dish and step back and watch them eat voraciously. We asked if there was ostrich riding, but they said, unfortunately, there is not. After the ostrich encounter, you can feed the chickens, the ducks, and the bunnies. Don't forget to stop by and feed the tortoises. You get to walk right in with these large creatures. They were so friendly and active. You get a fresh piece of asparagus to feed them and they come running. It's hard not to want to stay in the pen and hang out with them all day because they're just so cool.
Now our favorite part of the tour was the lorikeets. You walk into the enclosure with these brightly colored birds and get to interact with them in a very personal way. Yes, they come and land right on you. You have a nectar cup in your food kit to feed them. Hold the cup up and they take the lid off themselves and just go to town. It's best to stand still when you're here and just make sure to put your arms down slowly when you're done saying hello. Such cool birds. They were ever so gentle. To finish off your animal feeding journey, you will get to see the stingrays. These little critters just love to slurp up little pieces of food. They are so graceful and quick in the water. Overall, a really fun experience, a great way to break up the trip between Tucson and Phoenix if the drive makes you feel restless. I hope you've learned a little bit about one of Arizona's best roadside attractions just off of I-10 between Tucson and Phoenix. If you're interested in buying or selling a home here in Tucson, Arizona, please give me a call. I'd love to help you out. All my contact information is in the description below each video on the channel. There are hundreds of other videos on the channel about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown. Comment below with your favorite Arizona roadside attraction and don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out the door. Make sure to check out the next video on Tucson's best suburbs to learn more about living in Tucson, Arizona. I appreciate you hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next Tucson video.